to set up event tickets uh, go to tickets and payments and click on ticket setup and there you go you need to create tickets uh, so click on add new ticket button here enter the ticket name enter the price here into the description into the total number of tickets you are selling into the sale start and end date and then click on save so now your um, ticket is now uh, available for sale and if you want to see a preview you can click on the preview button and it would display your test ticket that we just created yeah now you can also group them into uh, separate groups so to do that you have to click on edit and then select the group under which you want to display this ticket type and if you want to create a new group you can click on ticket groups and there you can delete or create new ticket groups and then uh, put them under uh, respective uh, put the tickets in the, the respective groups uh, you can also automatically assign a role uh, based on the ticket purchase uh, and for each ticket you can select a new role uh, so for example for this ticket you want to assign the speaker role to anyone who uh, purchases the ticket so uh, the speaker role would be automatically assigned to them uh, as soon as the, uh, they complete the purchase um, so this is something which is very handy if you want to uh, tag them with a new role uh, so you have a list of uh, uh, attendees with different roles uh, uh, and would be easier to find uh, to filter them uh, under the contacts uh, you can also uh, hide tickets from everyone and display it only to a specific role uh, users with a specific role so only when they log in they would be able to see these tickets uh, otherwise those this particular ticket type would not be displayed to them so either you can select a role or if you do not want to display it to everyone then just to, uh, do not select any role here you can also set a limit on how many tickets one can purchase uh, uh, so this is the limit the maximum limit is 10 minimum is one uh, and uh, yeah so uh, after the ticket tickets setup has been completed you now to, you now need to go to the payment setup and uh, create uh, select the payment method that you want to use so you uh, you can uh, accept credit card payments so you can uh, use a stripe or paypal or thrice.net if you are using a stripe then you need to provide the stripe keys if you're using authorize.net then you have to provide the transaction key and the authorize.net login id uh, similarly for the paypal you need to provide the login credentials um, and uh, other, uh, apart from this, these payment gateways, you also have all additional payment gateways. For example, Mali, uh, which is in Europe. Uh, we have Paystack for African users, uh, for users from Africa, uh, Esquire uh, for uh, for users from US. Uh, Stripe again uh, is uh, for those who also require three D secure payment payment. Um, uh, uh, process uh, which is uh, currently only available in Europe uh, so yeah and apart from online payment methods you can also enable offline payment methods including check demand draft wire transfer and pay at the venue uh, you can also charge an additional processing fee for any of the selected uh, payment methods that they select so if they if they if, it, if you're charging a fee for demand draft and online pay, uh, on, and online payment then there is there's going to be an additional processing fee apart from the original ticket price, ticket price would be added to the total total fee uh, you can also uh, uh, enable accommodation widgets so after they complete the uh, complete the order uh, complete the payment they would see this uh, accommodation widget uh, and uh, uh, they can then uh, purchase a book uh, rooms uh, for the, for their accommodation now next is the question setup where you uh, you need to set up, create all the questions that you want to ask from the restaurants so by default it would have first name last name organization and email address 
uh, and phone number. So you can also create custom fields. For example, if you want to know about the accommodation details, then you can create a accommodation field uh, with condition logic uh, to create. Uh, uh, so if they select yes, then you can ask uh, for the questions like meal type. Uh, if uh, if they if they select a, uh, uh, they, they, you can also charge uh, uh, create of an add-on fee uh, where they can select whether they uh, want to go for Airbnb or any other uh, accommodation options. And when they select Airbnb, then this one twenty dollar would be added to the total amount uh, while they are purchasing the ticket. Uh, they, you can also create a file upload field so they uh, so they can upload their identity proof or passport. Uh, you can create data requirements fields. So all those custom fields you can create using uh, uh, these field types. You just need to select, click on input box or whichever field type that you want to use, and then enter your field name and your description, and then make it active. So uh, yeah, and, and lastly, you you uh, if you if you are offering some discount codes, then you can create discount codes there, and then uh, you can share these discount codes with the with the attendees so they can use these discount codes while purchasing the tickets. Uh, so let's do a preview now. Uh, so we would go to the ticket purchase form and try to purchase a ticket here. And uh, 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 so uh, there is a way uh, one can, uh, if someone is either is logged in, then one does not need to uh, 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 fill in the details. Uh, 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 they, uh, they can auto-populate all the information from their existing profile. So let me just uh, do it again. Now if I... Uh, uh, if I, I do not have to fill in the details, I can simply click on this and then it would autofill uh, with my profile information. And then it, uh, I just need to scroll down, select the accommodation. Uh, so this would charge, uh, uh, this is an add on and it would charge a 120 USD fee along, uh, for the Airbnb booking along with uh, uh, my, my ticket purchase fees. And then I would enter the discount code if there is any. Uh, so let me see if there is a discount code. There is one called uh, free. So I would simply enter free here and then click on apply. Okay. Uh, so uh, probably because uh, this ticket discount code is not avail uh, applicable for uh, all the uh, ticket types. So I would go to the discount code manager and then select it for all the ticket types uh, and then I'll try to uh, apply it again and this should now work yeah so the ticket uh, it is now applied and then I'll click on checkout and uh, so uh, uh, after the uh, discount code is applied uh, my ticket cost is free but I still have to pay for the add-on that I, I have selected so it is the 120 USD add-on and uh, then I'll scroll down to the payment method where I have to select the payment method. So I would uh, uh, enter my payment details. So this is a test account. So I would simply and there would be an additional fee of 40 USD for processing this payment because this has been enabled in the backend. Now I'll click on complete payment. So the payment is completed. Uh, I have received an email with the details. I can also browse my tickets here, and I and I can also uh, now go ahead and uh, if uh, the accommodation widget is enabled, uh, the user would see this accommodation widget, and one can uh, select a widget that uh, select a, uh, a hotel that they want to uh, book their accommodation in. I will click click on this, and then this would take me to the hotel website where I can book my stay. So this is all uh, uh, the these are all the steps that we need to uh, to set up the event ticketing uh, on 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 our website. Thank you.